In 2010, two groups of scientists working in Iran and Turkey discovered an unusual type of bee. Their research was published by the American Museum of Natural History. The following year, I saw these amazing photos of the bee nests in National Geographic, and I fell in love. Asmia aboceta is a solitary bee. She digs a hole in the ground no deeper than an inch. Then she lines the hole with flower petals, over which she spreads a thin layer of mud, and then she wallpapers the interior of the nest with an inner layer of flower petals. Into this flower bower, she deposits nectar and her egg. Finally, she folds the petals down to seal the cell and covers that with a layer of mud. She will build as many as 10 of these in a two week period. Twenty fourteen watercolors of the bees' nests. Twenty twenty one abstract versions. The layers of OA's nests also represent for me the layers of karmic habits we develop. For the last decade, I've been immersed in meditation and the path of awakening. I've come to know the wheel of samsara or how we retrace patterns that emerge from the protections we've developed as the result of hurts we experience when we are young. These karmic layers are the lens through which we see reality, but the larger reality is distorted through that lens and in the end we can no longer see clearly our essential nature, which is love. Layers emerge. 2023. I've been told these nest paintings look like anatomical hearts. While that's a powerful connection, the direct association for me is a womb. Women's rights, women's bodies, our wombs are under attack. In that regard, I see the nests as a reminder to protect what is precious. Fertile ground. 2023. Brood cell, 2023. Predator resistant, 2023. Scars, 2023.